EFAs right on the eczema, sometimes that can help, and certainly taking them orally can be helpful too. And then vitamin A is also very, very important for eczema, as is vitamin D. Have the kids, make sure the kids are out in the sun and they're exposing their eczema patches to the sun, and then have the kids taking around 10,000 IU a day of vitamin A. They'll also get vitamin A, by the way, in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's probably not a bad idea to have the kids sipping on the vitamin A. Uh, sipping on the BTT to get the vitamin A. You'll know you're on the right track when the eczema improves, and it should improve in short order. Philip, you should notice results within a couple of weeks or, or less of getting on this program. If you're not noticing relief, you're not noticing a change in your eczema from the program I just outlined for you, then you're, you gotta, we gotta uh, tweak it, tweak the protocol a little bit because you should notice results from this kind of pro, using this kind of program, using this kind of regimen within a week or two. And if you're not noticing it, then call back sure. and we'll tweak it for you, okay? Last yeah. but not yeah, least, just, one last thing, let me tell word. you. Well, let me tell you one last thing. Zinc oxide, uh, topical zinc oxide can help, and uh, 50 milli- or for your kids, probably 25 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate can help. Go ahead. I'm sorry. The six-year-old, uh, the doctors say he developed, uh, um, what is that? Um, uh, dang it, I can't even think of it. Um, you, can, you can call us back. He's going to develop other things. Yeah. Eczema, because it's an immune condition, eczema is asthma of the skin, Okay. That means he's higher risk. That's what it was. Well, I'm not surprised. (laughs) I'm not surprised. They go hand in hand, my friend. Eczema is asthma of the skin. You tell this to to your doctor. Tell him, pharmacist Ben said, Doc, do you know eczema is asthma of the skin? Say, Doc, do you know asthma is eczema of the lungs? It's the same darn thing. It's the same thing. One's in the lungs and one's on the skin. The same thing thing. It's a sign that the immune system is running amok, and you've got to protect it, and you've got to defend it, or defend the body. You've got to protect the body using everything I just told you, especially stopping the attack that's coming in through the foods, uh, through the digestive system. Philip, I've got to move on, my friend, but you've got tons of information there, okay? Call us back if you're, if you're not noticing results, because you really should be noticing results pretty quickly. All right, John in Michigan, welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on, my friend? Yes, uh, uh, Ben, uh, I would just, uh, my, my question first is on liver spots and then treating gall or bladder cancer with DTB. But when you talk about meat, you're talking about real good meat for organ, uh, organ meat. Food. Right. Yeah, and I, I got to tell you, meat is a big, big problem because human beings are carnivore or omnivores, which means we eat, meat, we eat anything. All right, so vegans out there, vegetarians out there, you know, and like I say, I'm mostly a vegetarian, although I'm not going to commit and say I am one, but I don't really eat a lot of meat. But the fact is we're supposed to eat meat and vegetables and everything. That means there's things in meat you got to have. Sorry, vegetarians and vegans. you got to have. There's things in meat you got to have. Now, uh, if, you, if you don't want to eat meat or, or, or you're a vegan for religious reasons, philosophical reasons, that's great, and I support that. But you're going to be depriving yourself of key nutrients. That having been said, meat is a, the way we eat meat today, it's a big problem because of processing, because of hormones, because of antibiotics, and because, as I've said before, everything likes protein, bacteria like protein. Fungus like protein, microbes like protein, which means protein doesn't doesn't last very long. It doesn't hold out very long. It doesn't have a long shelf life unless it's been highly processed, which is what whey protein is. And this is why whey protein can be a problem too. Even though whey protein it, it contains tremendously valuable nutrients, it's you got to be careful. You can't go to Costco and buy your whey protein. You can't go buy cheapo whey protein at GNC, which is the worst place to ever buy nutritional supplements. You can't buy your whey protein at Walmart. You got to go to get the One World Whey. Go get Steve Ewer's product. It's a wonderful product because he takes great care with his whey protein. Meat's the same way. Meat's wonderful, but it's got all these things associated with it: hormones, antibiotics. Uh, 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 it's it's kept for long periods of time in the supermarket. E. coli. Uh, the slaughterhouses are nasty, nasty places. So yes, when I say meat is a problem. I'm talking, or when I say meat's a good food, I'm talking about hormone-free, grass-fed, preferably wild game that you hunted uh, yourself. That's the best way to get meat. But uh, supermarket meat is a big problem. I'm sorry to digress, and I, I probably took up too much time there. Go ahead, ask your question, because we're running out of time here. Uh, supplements. What do you take them with your meals, or what? Uh, yeah. But my- yeah, supplements okay. mostly take with your meals. For the most part, take your supplements with meals. That way, the digestive juices are all working, and you'll get better absorption. What, what okay, else? Okay, now you... liver spots, and then uh, a friend of mine is getting his gall or his bladder cancer treated with TB, and I find that outrageous. About, with TB, uh, 
Yeah, tuberculosis. Yeah, they're, they're injecting him with a with a TB vaccine and, to stimulate uh, the immune system. It's into his bladder. I, I, I found it totally, it, and it's on the internet. You, you can find yeah. the treatment. It, it but, shows up. It, it stimulates the immune system. I hadn't heard about that, but I've heard about using uh, using infectious agents to treat cancer. It stimulates the immune system. Is the idea? Uh, that's a whole other story. Uh, you know, if you got cancer, you have a chemistry problem. Uh, cancer, cells only turn cancerous under great duress, years of duress. So the idea of treating cancer, killing cancer, to me, if you have an emergency, you got an emergency, and you got to do what you got to do. But really, the idea is to keep the body pristine and clean, and to keep cells from turning cancerous. Liver spots, think adrenal glands. Now, here's the deal with liver spots. There's two kinds of pigmentation, that are, a darkening that occurs on the skin. One is pigment. The other is a really interesting chemical called lipofusion. L-I-P-O-F-U-S-C-I-N. And lipofusion is not the same as pigment. So when people talk about liver spots, they got to distinguish whether they're talking about pigment or whether they're talking about this cell soot or cell debris, which is called lipofusion. John, I wonder if I get you to call back tomorrow, because it's such an interesting topic. Topic and we're just out of time. Uh, and I just say, uh, uh, what to do, selenomethionine with cancer? Selenomethionine is great for all kinds of skin health conditions. That's a, a very deluxe form of selenium. It's my favorite form of selenium because you get the methionine in there as well. And I, I don't have any more time, John. I'm just We're just out. So if you can call back tomorrow, we'll, we'll uh, get you first up. All right, that's it for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side. Have yourself a wonderful, beautiful day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Self-reliance, survival supplies, survival skills, national experts. Get it all at the only free-to-attend national event exclusively for preppers. This spring in Tulsa, it's the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, a must-be-there event. Presented by American Living, this massive expo will include special guests. David Mays from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers. Plus, GCN Zone Dr. Joel Wallach via live video conference. Hear Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and members of the American Pepper Network along with many other leading national experts. Learn life-saving tips, CPR, how to handle crisis situations, walk through a bomb shelter, and much, much more. Two big days, April 5th and 6th at the Tulsa Expo Square in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's April 5th and 6th. Doors open at 9 a.m. with absolutely free admission. Don't miss the National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, America's largest emergency preparedness event. Get your free tickets now. NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Big business has discovered the preparedness market, and that makes it difficult to know where to go and who to trust. MyPatriotSupply.com is owned and operated by patriots just like you. Has the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more. MyPatriotSupply.com has old-fashioned values and the absolute best customer service in the industry. Look for the deal of the day, unique affordable survival supplies that fit anyone's budget. Get same-day shipping on all orders and free shipping on orders over $49. Call 866-229-0927. 866-229-0927. Or visit MyPatriotSupply.com for emergency preparedness, self-reliance, and food independence. Shop with a name you know and a name you can trust. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com.